Among foreigners, it's no secret. A student visa can be a ticket to a job in the U.S. The recent terror attacks in Paris and San Bernardino have prompted a crackdown on potential immigration cheaters. Devin Feely digs into reports that a couple of Bay Area universities are on the blacklist in a story you'll only see on KPIX 5. And you want to pay for it. Welcome to Northwestern Polytechnic University, a popular school for students from India. Thousands come here to study every year, but this semester, a hitch. We found out that a group of applicants, uh, I guess, to our university uh, had been denied entry into the United States. That's NPU President Peter Shea. It's because of fraudulent bank documentation. Somehow that got linked uh, to us being, having problems as, as a university. Rumors swirled that the school was blacklisted in the government crosshairs for profiting by enrolling students who just want to get into the U.S. to work with little intention of studying. Shea denies that, saying that NPU is approved to accept international students and is fully accredited. There is absolutely no issue with the university. There's no investigation. There's no you know, scrutiny or however you want to put it. Just a few miles south in San Jose, Silicon Valley University got hit a lot harder. Our students here are very upset with the whole thing because they know the university is a legitimate university. Academic Dean Simon Al says it wasn't just a Homeland Security enforcement action. Another group of 19 students were stopped at Hyderabad Airport itself this Saturday. Once Air India heard that hundreds of students were getting denied entry into the U.S., the airline prevented hundreds more from even boarding. Air India decided to screen students themselves. So is that true? Are you blacklisted? No, there's, there's no blacklisting. There's no nothing on the U.S. side that says there's anything wrong with SVU. U.S. Customs tells KPIX that in all, 398 Indian students were denied entry to the United States in December at various international airports across the country. Many of those students were heading either to NPU or SVU. That is visa saying that you are eligible to enter into the United States of America. Back in India, the students have been speaking out, saying that they feel humiliated by U.S. officials, even though they claim to have done nothing wrong. But student visa fraud has been a problem at other schools in the U.S. in the past. There are schools that are set up uh, expressly for the purpose of selling admission to the United States. These are the ones that people call visa mills. Jessica Vaughn with the Center for Immigration Studies says it's an ongoing problem. The real concern is not just that this is leading to illegal immigration, but that there may be terrorist organizations or criminal organizations that are also taking advantage of it. One of the 9-11 bombers was in the U.S. on a student visa. The Times Square bomber came in on a student visa as well. Homeland Security doesn't comment on school investigations until they're closed. But with hundreds of international students turned away this year, there is a sense that the feds this time around are watching closely. In Fremont, Devin Feely, KPIX Vaughn. Homeland Security has raided several colleges in California in just the past few years, alleging they were involved in pay-to-stay immigration schemes. Several of their past presidents are serving prison time.